So my name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Okay, my name is Femi Aguda, and I'm tuning in from Chicago. Uh, I'm a real estate agent. Uh, yep. Awesome. So I wanted to start a question with entrepreneurship. What is your definition of entrepreneurship? What does it take to be one? Uh, what it takes? Well, I feel an entrepreneur is uh, someone that um, organizes resources to achieve a goal. That's the simple definition. And uh, it takes uh, determination. It takes a strong desire. And also it takes some form of organized planning. You know, um, all that uh, can be found also in the book. Uh, think and grow rich. You know, it takes organized planning. A lot of people think entrepreneurs take risk, but really they take calculated risk. They look at the uh, the worst case scenario, the best case scenario, and then they jump. But most people think we just take risk, but we actually take calculated risk. Definitely, calculated risk is there. So here is my question for you. We have a lot of people right now going through COVID-19 and a lot of other challenges that comes along with that. Do you think entrepreneurship changes because of the circumstances? Because I know you do real estate and other activities, but how do entrepreneurs navigate through these circumstances or individuals that want to get into business? I think it's the best time to get into business right now. I, I think, think so. if there was a time that you want to get in and kind of mess up where nobody's going to notice, go through all the experiences you want at a low cost, this is the time. So if you're ever going to do anything, this is not the time to contract. This is the time where you expand. So what is your what is one or two tips that you can give to people during COVID-19? Well, like, like you said earlier, this is the time to get in. This is the time where you don't have anything to lose. <laughs> you know, it's a time to... Uh, but also... Anytime there's crisis, it's a great time for opportunity. You know, there are a lot of problems that are going to come out of this. By the time we, we get out, there's going to be a lot of problems and that will look for uh, uh, entrepreneurs that will solve it. Because entrepreneurs are really people that solve problems and make the economy better. So uh, this is a great time. I've been studying. I've been looking around. Okay, where's the problem? Where's the problem? Where's the problem? It's like my radar is, is up there. Like, what can I do? How can I solve? Even in real estate, you know, um, a lot of people are waiting by, oh, it's going to crash. It's not going to crash. And all of them like, you know, I'm just, how can I create value for my clients in, in this market? That, that has been my question. How can I create value? You know, uh, I was invited, I invited to a men's meeting on Zoom and they were asking, where are the opportunities? And I'm like, um, the opportunities are everywhere. <laughs> You know, in the down market, in the up market, uh, one of the things I, I told someone, if I remember correctly, is that um, even if people are not buying, uh, as an investor, uh, rents are going to go up. Because if people cannot buy, a lot of people are going to be looking to rent. So that is also an opportunity right here. So, yes, let people look for problems that they can solve, you know, and, um, you know. Uh, real estate is going to change. It's going to change, especially for... Everything office. is going to change. Listen, office everything space. is going to change. Every The whole Every entire space. landscape is going to change. We have the whole entire global challenge that's happening. I know there's a negative side, and our prayers go to the people that have lost their loved ones. Yeah. I definitely feel it. Uh, I know it's a very... It could be very challenging if you don't yeah. watch out our thoughts and let negative sink in for over span of period of time. But make no mistake, presidencies are going to change the way our presidents or any country's president or government reacts to anything like this is going to change. Our health infrastructure in the United States will change because of this. Our healthcare providers are going to get changed. People are more conscious about how they got to do their surroundings, environment, safety. People's savings rate is going to go up. People's backups are going to go up. You yeah. know, the way, they, the way they do business with each other is going to go up. A lot of old school people, hard-headed, um, very, you know, rough ages where they don't want to get into technology. Now they're forced. A lot yeah. of companies are going to change. But the yeah. most important part that I want to share today while I have you on is, is this. And I hope you agree with me. The way 
companies, governments, organizations in general from all shapes or form, profitable or non-profitable. The way you conduct yourself during COVID-19, during these crises, these are challenging times. The way we carry ourselves is going to determine if we're going to be in business two, three years. Make no mistake, people yeah. will forgive you, but they're never going to forget all these rich boys and rich guys that didn't take care of their employees, their companies, they didn't yeah. put out money, where they were in it for their own profit. Yeah. Companies are going to be tested based on these times. We may not know about them right now. We may not know what they're doing or how they're conducting themselves. But make no mistakes. There's so many people out there that are going to go investigate, research, and find out how you treated people during crisis. Were you one of these fake gurus on social media making millions of dollars? But the minute the crisis happens, you let go of your employees. Were you, right? You don't want to take a hit with everybody else. If you're making millions of dollars, then you should be able to take hits like that too. It's a crisis. Why should your employees and people that were making you money take all the hit? I don't mind. Let's distribute it. Let's all take it on the same way. That's what I see in real estate. I see so many real estate agents and brokers doing the right thing, helping their clients, helping their, 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 their existing consumers that they got, really put in the value. Value doesn't mean that you're just going to go exchange something right there and make some money. No. Just like you and I, you're educating. I see your I see your IG page. You're doing a fantastic job. You're educating yeah. people. You're putting good content out there. Guess what? People are going to remember that. Yeah. So to me, it's like the way we conduct ourselves these times are going to be known in the, in the whole entire universe for a long, big time. So therefore... To me, it's like, should you watch the news all the time? Maybe a little bit just to get the 411 on what's mm -hmm. happening. But other than that, this is the time where you want to go read books, put yep. good content out there, and, and, and brainwash yourself for success during these times that you may not have the activities. But I tell you one thing. I've been more busy doing COVID-19, and I'm working harder than I did before COVID-19. So it kind of worked out for me. It got me to the second year. But go ahead. I mean, you got any comments? I know I, I um, took a little bit of time. Just wanted yeah, to share. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you um, at this time. The way um, companies and organizations react is going to determine um, a whole lot after COVID. You know, COVID is just gonna, it's going to go away. It's not going to be forever. And once it goes away, uh, the way you reacted, especially to your clients and employee, will determine how far you will go in the new economy that's going to emerge. And um, like for me, what, what I'm doing right now is to reach out to my clients, you know, and try and say, hey, how can I help? As in, how can I help? And some, some I just, oh, I just want to talk. As in, I had, I had a deal that was uh, to close a day before the client called me and was like, oh, I'm scared. Should I go ahead? And, you know, I'm like, oh, my commission is about to go. But I, I said to myself, do I want a one-time deal or do I want it? I want a client for life. So I said, I want a client for life. So I said, okay, let's look at a deal together. You're going to be buying this, this, this property for 510 and you're going to put in 300,000 uh, into re renovation. So the bank says, if it's worth 800,000, we're going to give it the loan. The appraiser came back at $1 million. So I said, okay, if it's going to be, if it's valued at $1 million, then no matter what happens, worst case scenario, 200,000 gets shipped off. Uh, and, but you still have the property, it's still valuable because the loan is still 800,000. And also I told him that rentals, as in it's a, it's a multi-unit, so you're gonna have tenants paying for your mortgage as long as the cash flow takes care of your, of your mortgage and you're owning the building for, for the long haul. Then That's you beautiful. Find that's beautiful. You're looking out for them to do long term is the key. And everybody, if you're in sales, service, or you're offering your 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 knowledge for anybody, you should always be thinking about that. That hey, it's gotta be long time, long term process in thinking. And your best clients are you are your existing clients because those are the ones that are gonna give you the 
the definite the the referral that you're gonna get, which you can't get in any types of ads or marketing because somebody is talking good about you and your services, which they have personal experience with. So I agree with that, you know, hundred percent that we gotta do long term. But listen, brother, I appreciate you taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully we can do more. I'm looking forward to collaborating with you. Thank you so much for responding to us and wanting to be on our platform. Thank you're you so welcome. much for being here. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.